With WebLEC, you get direct access to top experts in equine medicine and surgery. How to palpate the foot, you might seem very uh, basic, but nevertheless there are some things, although the hoop capsule does preclude detailed evaluation of the foot, nevertheless there are some things that we can identify that give us a lot of clues, again, of what's going on inside the foot. And today, finally, we'll talk about diagnostic analgesia with respect to those blocks that we do specifically to try and localise problems uh, within the foot. Now, in terms of aspects of history, and I'm not going to be comprehensive in, the, in describing all the different questions relating to the history of the case, but for those particular problem foot cases, in the, the ones that sort of spring to mind are those relating to soft tissue lesions within the foot, which are notoriously difficult to identify without some of the advanced imaging, there are some key sort of aspects to the uh, come out in a history that can give you a clue. In terms of foot lameness, of course, they can be sudden onset with sudden uh, with certain acute uh, traumatic lesions, such as fractured pedal bones, etc. But often, the, at least the horses that I'm seeing most frequently here at the Royal Veterinary College, many of the histories for, for uh, a foot lameness is that of an insidious and low-grade lameness that's been progressing, often with the shifting arm, but I'm not going to go in any great detail about that at this present time because I'll cover to a certain extent that when we talk about the imaging uh, of, of foot problems. But it is essential really to superimpose the bony structures inside the hoop capsule and in, with respect to the visual uh, foot balance. And why is that? Well, it's mainly related to the fact that we believe that foot balance has an implication on the forces uh, applied to the navicular bone and the associated soft tissue. You need to stop this uh, bottom of the video to make it stream better. Um, is that the caudal phase is dramatically shortened on this? Um, short, stop it. Dramatically shortened on the left foreleg. Hopefully, you can appreciate that. It's been quite difficult to get these videos to to move, but I'll play it one more time. Hopefully, you can see how, as a result of the very shortened caudal phase on the left fore, it's happened to have to extend its cranial phase in order to avoid it obviously going around in a circle. So you can see how these stride phases can be altered uh, individually, um, but that the other phase of the stride has to, be, has to compensate in order to make the stride length the same length when the animal is walking in a straight line. Obviously, in the trot, it's important to look not only at the animal in a straight line, but also to lunge down.